long. This is our last Camden Wednesday as we, are the, we near the next phase of our Puppy with a Purpose program. Tomorrow, Camden will head back to New York for more training to become a service dog or a veteran, for a veteran or a first responder. And Dino, we wanted to take some time really to go in depth about what's next for Camden and show off a lot of the base work that you have done to get her ready. So you've described this as she's she has an undergraduate degree now, right? Correct. She's um, graduating today with her undergrad. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when she leaves me, I equate what she's going to back at America's Vet Dogs as kind of um, grad school. She can't do well there with the service dog trainers if I haven't laid proper foundation. Right. And um, which is what we've worked really hard to do. So how do you start? I mean, you got her as such a tiny puppy. Yep. At, I think we got her the day before she turned eight weeks old. Mm -hmm. um, we started 16 months ago today on the Today Show with her. And really in the beginning was as simple as teaching her her name. That, to know that her name equals kibble. And um, still to this day, when I say her name, she intently looks at me with those beautiful eyes of hers. And so positive reinforcement. Because people wonder, how do you get the dog to do what you want them to do? You give her a little piece of kibble, mm -hmm. and and, that, and then she, she knows that's what she wants, and so she will do what you say. Right, and, and we know, because she's so food motivated, we know that something is gonna work really well for her. Because people have asked, you know, why this particular breed of dog, you see a lot of labs. It's pretty simple. Mm food motivation. They yeah. love food. They love food and um, it's kind of like, you know, find someone's love language. Right. And that's, we've found it, let me tell you. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and repetition too, you repeat, you do, I mean, it takes a lot of time. Absolutely, yeah. it does. And I've been asked a lot of times, uh, how much training do you do? And I just can't add it all up because it's maybe 30 seconds here, five minutes there, 10 minutes here, another 30 seconds there. It's really kind of throughout the day, just teaching her what is expected in a positive way. So when she goes to New York, what is she gonna, what's gonna happen there? Yep, so she's going to be evaluated by the service dog trainers. They're gonna take a look at her and figure out what her strengths are and how they want to build on those strengths mm -hmm. and decide after they decide who her um, person is going to be, her veteran or first responder, they're gonna figure out what is that person, what are that person's needs, and then they're gonna complete the rest of her training and add on those different um, tasks that she may need to know for that person. So it's person. customized to that individual. It is, in the beginning, we um, kind of maybe start them all on the same level, and then the service dog trainers back at America's Vet Dogs, they customize. Every person gets the dog that's specifically made really for them, that's trained for them. And she's, and she's good. I mean, <laughs> she is a very, wouldn't you say, a very, her, her, yeah, her drive, drive is her really strong. Her food drive yeah. makes her very <clears throat> intense and ready to work at any given time. Mm -hmm. But I'll see if I can get her out here with me. Um, chicken, kind of, that chicken in there kind of trumps. I don't know. If we were running around the studio <laughs> with the chicken <laughs> just a minute ago. That's her favorite toy. It is. Camden. Yes. So again, you may have seen, I said her name, she looked right up at me mm -hmm. and she's like, all right, chicken's nothing right now. Right, I'm ready to work. Camden, heel. All the way, heel. Yes, good job. So a couple of the things that um, we have taught her, I can show you first of all, one thing, um, we've done a lot of what's called collar yielding, really to teach her to be very light on the collar where if I need her to do something in a quiet environment without giving her a command, just like I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. All the way. Good job. Mm -hmm. I got her right where I needed her to be without really having to like mm, forcefully bring her over. And, um, but if, again, it's that quiet environment, I just need to move her a little. Mm -hmm. um, and that constant eye contact is really important because she is focused 100% on you. For sure. That connection between her and her uh, veteran or first responder handler is going to be extremely important mm -hmm. to the job she does. Mm -hmm. And we've just noticed here, because we interact with her a lot, but when she knows that she's doing a task, we, we don't distract her even, even though mm -hmm. she knows like we're her playmates, you right. know? Yeah. Right. And, and I think if you even tried, yeah. she's so focused, mm -hmm. I don't even know if you could distract her. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's remarkable. I know, sweetie. She's Sit. like, look how good I am at my job. Good girl. <laughs> oh. Touch. oh my yes. gosh. Good girl. <laughs> Well, we will continue to update everyone on Camden's training every week, and you can see more videos of all the training that she has done and continue to see her training updates on her Instagram page. You can continue to follow her.
right? Even though she won't be here, well, we're yes, still going to follow her. Yep, we're going to. Um, we've been told we're going to have about weekly updates yes. um, from America's Vet Dogs, and I think I'm still going to pull some pictures out and post on there and keep people. That excited. would be awesome because her Instagram Instagram page is at WBAL Puppy.